influenced by the music my dad listened to. He's really into Bob Dylan and he played the guitar, um, so he taught me. I grew up in Paris in a very musical household. Instead of like a bedtime story, we'd listen to a new album every night and it was quite cool. My first ever band, we did a cover of Freak on a Leash by Korn. Well, there wasn't anyone else in my school that was really into the same music as me, but I really wanted to like play music. You've got to kind of you take make the what's best. on offer. Yeah, you've got to make the best of a bad situation. <laughs> First met, I think you were pretty wasted, right? Was I? I don't remember. No, I remember meeting you at the Macbeth. Yeah, we'd already met. And we, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I met Patrick at um, a nightclub a long time ago, um, and we were both quite drunk. I don't think he liked me very much. I think he thought I was a bit obnoxious. But we got past that. Yeah, we've been friends for a long time since I was about 18 or something. I can't remember actually meeting her. Probably wasted. I'd made music with Patrick before, and then me and James and Patrick started making music together, and I just really wanted a girl bass player, another girl in the band, just because. I kind of like that dynamic, I think it works really well. Being a sort of two girl, two guy setup definitely helps, like the harmonies, you kind of get all the different tones from it, it works really well. We probably uh, argue about a lot of... Probably uh, argue about... Argue about room. times <laughs> and distances and... Space. Oh, <laughs> we have to be arguing about absolutely everything. Whether people are fat or not. <laughs> be like, oh yeah, you know that, that really... That really fat guy, and then one of us will be like, he's not fat, he's really thin. And we're like, no, he's really fat. And then we'll literally like argue about that for like half an hour. Days. <laughs> just to keep things interesting. When you spend that much time with a group of people, I think you just um, try and find something to say. <laughs> we don't argue that much. Generally. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> James watch a lot of Friends, don't we? James? Yeah. <laughs> I just think it's really well written. I don't ever get bored of it, really, because there's so much of it that you can just like swap and change. It's just a great TV program. I wish we were more like the Friends. Yeah. But we're not. <laughs> Our first ever show was at the Lexington, where we're playing tonight, with some friends of ours that asked us to play. We'd been practicing for a few months and gave us like a target to work towards because we, we hadn't even really thought about playing live. No, I think we kind of accepted the show, so we had. So we had Otherwise, like, yeah. we would have just carried on working on the songs. Yeah, um, sometimes we need a bit of a kick up the arse. I think I saw their first gig, actually, many, many years ago, which um, I was really impressive, I remember, and bought their demos, and I've kind of enjoyed watching them ever since. Veronic Falls aren't picking up on trends. They don't worry about how things should sound, they worry about how the songs are. They're doing their own thing, and that's really great. Your face in the mirror is only getting clear. It's really nice to have like a finished album and up until that point when it's actually released you just you're always wondering you know is it good? It's kind of hard to gauge exactly how well it will be received but I'm definitely happy with it. How I feel about it 30 years down the line I don't know but 
yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out. I think the main girl is really hot because she has that hair falling over her face and immediately, you know, I just completely fell in love with her. One of my favourite early shows was where we played the night Michael Jackson died. Yeah. And we had a bass player then who was the guy from Let's Wrestle. And we were all so drunk that we yeah. could hardly even take to the stage and Wes was the only one holding us together. That's what they said. It, like, everybody got... I was really wasted as well. We were all really wasted. I lost my trousers. Yeah. Somehow. I don't remember how. That was fun. Really